disgusting. It was an overwhelming majority in the last poll that said that they wanted to see Case Cooking with Uncle Roger, and today we're going to do that. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is James Makinson. I've been cooking for many years, and I have more than 100 videos on my YouTube channel with Spanish, French, and international cuisine. So hopefully there will be something for you to enjoy. If you do like this video while you're watching it, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video down below and share it with others. And let's get started. Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Today, Uncle Roger gonna review this video requested by so many niece and nephew out there. It's K cooking special fried rice. As usual, my nephew Nigel, the cameraman. Nephew Nigel, say hi. Hey, Uncle Roger, and hey, nieces and nephews. Remember, Uncle Roger is doing a comedy video, so don't go attacking anyone after this, okay? Hi, yeah, nephew Nigel. You worry too much. All my niece and nephew are decent people. Don't worry. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking. And today, I'm going to be doing. Special fried rice. Okay, this video look quite amateur, but Uncle Roger's favorite genre of video is amateur. <laughs> this video look quite amateur, but sometimes amateur people, the most passionate, Uncle Roger give this video a shot. I put some oil in, it says to- If you start cooking a pan with oil like this and it's starting to burn, it's a good idea to take it off the heat because the oil has reached its mocking point and the smoking point is the point at which oil starts to break down. Anything past this, if you continue cooking like this, one, you'll burn the oil, which is not good for you, it can hurt you, and two, um, it can actually ignite and then you can have a house fire. I, uh, induction stove, I, uh, I just said give this a shot and she messed up already. And why her induction stove purple? Uncle Roger never see this before. What she has is not an induction, this is not a true induction. Induction is another technology. Traditional cooking with either gas or electric has to use heat to then heat the pan to then cook the food. It has to use contact with the heat. Inductions, on the other hand, use electromagnetism to heat the element within the pot itself. Ergonomically, it's a lot better. It's a lot faster to cook just about anything. The big downside is that you will probably have to rebuy everything in your kitchen because most pots and pans do not have the, um, the element within them to be able to be used on the induction burners. So in the end, you know, you need to think about if you actually want an induction. And if you guys do want to take a look at any inductions or anything, I'll leave a few links down below for you guys to check them out. But at least she got what? And now I'm going to chop some garlic up because it says it got to be really hot and... This is the dumbest way to see if your wok is hot. Don't just put your hand in the wok, you will burn yourself high. Uh, just use your eye. Here's how you know if wok is hot. Now, whenever you're cooking at home, if it's starting to smoke, it's too hot, take it off the heat. If you don't know if it's hot enough, you don't have to put your hand over it to check. Sometimes, even in the professional kitchen, the chefs still put their hands over the pots. If the oil is starting to shimmer, meaning that you start seeing ripples in the oil, then it's ready. Or what you can do is if you're, like she's going to be cutting some garlic or anything like this, if you're cutting any mise en place and you're going to add it, just add a little bit of it to the pan and if it starts to sizzle, then the pan's ready, it's hot enough and you can add in the uh, mise en place to start sauteing or cooking. If there's smoke coming out from wok, you know it hot. This is not the time to use finger. Don't use finger. Right, now I'm going to chop the garlic up. Fingers going in there, never mind. Why your knife so colourful? Is this knife for children? Why are you using Sesame Street knife? And also look at her chopping. So for this, she should be using, say, a bigger knife, a chef's knife, or something a little bigger. Um, you can use a parry knife. I have a video on how to cut with the chef's knife and a parry knife. So if you guys want to see it, I can leave it down in, in the link down below if you want to check it out. But you shouldn't be cutting garlic like this. This is, you're not going to be efficient. You're not going to, it's just the wrong way to do it. That, and then you can also tell that there's a little bit of garlic skin still left in there that she's cutting up with it. So if you don't like garlic skin with your garlic, then you need to make sure that you get rid of it. The garlic so uneven, they're big pieces, they're small pieces, chopped properly. Hi, uh, fried uh, special fried, a purple one. Oh my god, the garlic so ugly. Oh. Her chopping so bad, even the garlic tried to escape from her. Take them to my friend and get them off. 
Two hours later. This must be the world's slowest chopping. She's still chopping. Is this egg fried rice tutorial? Or how not to chop garlic tutorial? Now, I know a lot of you said flatten it with the back of the knife to do the garlic, but uh, probably haven't got enough strength anyway to do it with the back of the knife. So weak, so weak little garlic, you cannot flatten. Hi, uh, I think, K, you need to go to gym. So you don't use the back of the knife like they're saying to flatten the garlic. The back of the knife is the spine of the knife. That's the opposite end of the sharp end. It's not the side of the blade. It's not the actual side of the knife. That's what you use to flatten the garlic because it has the widest surface space. It's the easiest to use and you won't hurt yourself when using the other palm of your hand to smash it. So you can be stronger than clove of garlic. Now I know a lot of you said flatten it with the back of the knife to do the garlic. That suggestion is right. When Uncle Roger chopped garlic, I first flattened garlic with the back of knife, then the skin easy to peel off and then you can chop properly. If you don't smash your garlic first, that's why your garlic jump around when you're chopping. Because it's not flat. hi yeah. Learn the proper technique. Now, you want to be careful when you add garlic to any hot pans, especially if the oil is starting to smoke. Because literally, in less than 30 seconds, you can go from the garlic being uncooked to being burnt to where it's like black. Garlic has a low moisture content. You want to add it a little later. Or you want to make sure that the oil is not as hot. Okay, finally, she's cooking. <laughs> well, that done. <laughs> As you can see, it's very hot oh and it's... My. The garlic has now turned oh. brown. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Turn brown? What do you mean turn brown? The garlic blacker than Auntie Helen, hot woman. Are you colorblind? If you cook garlic to this point of where it's this color, yeah, it, I mean a little black. If it turns a little black, you get rid of it. But what, if it's like this, you completely get rid of it, for sure. You don't continue cooking, nothing. You get rid of it, toss it out. You don't immediately toss it out because the oil is searing hot and you'll probably melt the uh, trash bag. But let it cool down, pour it out, wash the pan extremely well or get another one and then start over again because otherwise you'll ruin the dish. It completely burnt this garlic. Looks so much like burn victim. Uncle Roger wanna start a GoFundMe for it. I didn't know you could make garlic look like it lived through Chernobyl. Hiya. Uncle Roger sad now. For egg fried rice, we want to gently brown the garlic until it's fragrant. Not cremated. This is the garlic ashes. Give Uncle Roger the garlic. I will give it proper burial. Garlic is Asian people's favorite ingredient. And you destroy it. <sighs> Uncle Roger feels so much pain in heart. Uncle Roger, are you okay? I fine, I fine. Nephew Nigel, don't worry. I'm sure this video won't get any worse than this. <sighs> oh boy, he doesn't even know what's coming. What, 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 what she, what she doing? What she doing? Is that raw rice she putting in what? No, 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 no. I think Uncle Roger seeing raw. Uncooked rice does not go in fried rice. Yeah, there are some dishes like paella or risotto or even say rice pilaf that you have to add the rice first, or especially with like risotto and paella, you have to cook it a little bit and then you add the stock because then the stock will be absorbed by the rice and then it's cooked. With fried rice, you're not adding stock to it. You can't add uncooked rice. You add the old rice that's left over from the day or so before that's a little dried out and then you cook it. Dried rice like this, it's going to be extremely crunchy, yeah? Um, it's not even like al dente. It'll be like crunchy as you know what, so anyway. Um, I think Uncle Roger hallucinating. Replay, replay. No, 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 no. <laughs> she really put uncooked rice into wok. I can't ever put my leg back up on chair. This is the most stress I feel. How does she know rice need to be cooked? Uncle Roger say, if your rice too wet, you fucked up. But if your rice uncooked, you definitely fucked up. Oh no, no, she's stirring the uncooked rice. No, no, oh my God, stirring the uncooked rice with the burnt garlic. Uh, this is as bad as you can pretty much get it. You can still make your things a little worse, but still, this is like, this is bad, you yeah? know? You should toss it out.
She just massacred our rice. Watching this video is like watching Schindler's List, but for egg fried rice. Salt, pepper. It's gonna take a lot more than salt and pepper to fix this. A lot more. <sighs> Uncle Roger have been defeated. I am now empty shell of a man. Seeing this rice, I'm not even mad that she's not using MSG because even MSG cannot save her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break some eggs because um, it's looking a bit too dry. Woman, the rice look too dry because you didn't cook the rice high. Yeah, this woman think dry rice can be saved by egg. You don't need egg. You need a miracle. This rice drier than my ex-wife Auntie Helen. Even egg cannot save her also. Auntie Helen have egg inside her and she's still dry. <laughs> Sorry children. I'm gonna crack some eggs, beat them up. You beat egg up, Uncle Roger want to beat you up. Look at how sad this rice look. <laughs> This look like raw rice with rat shit inside. <laughs> How can you ruin beautiful grain of rice like that? The rice farmer worked so hard to make rice for you and you disrespect it like this, hi. Uh... It says I've got to put the chicken in with the egg. Be right, can I? So you think putting chicken in the egg is wrong? But you think putting uncooked rice in burnt garlic is correct? What your logic? What your logic? No, no, oh, oh my, oh my, disgusting. It, this is disgusting, yeah? This is completely disgusting. The chicken that she said that she's adding doesn't look like normal chicken. It looks like deli cuts. So, you know those little slices when you go to the store, you have pre-cut chicken or turkey. At least here it's just turkey and ham. We don't have the pre-cut chicken. Um, but that's what she's adding. So it's even more like, Blech. But well, anyway, we keep watching. With every step, the rice just look worse and worse. I don't know if you can see, but I've been cooking some peas because I don't know if you're supposed to cook them first. You're not supposed to cook the peas first. You're supposed to cook the rice first. Hi, uh, this woman cook pea, but she don't cook rice. She's using frozen peas, yeah, and frozen peas literally take nothing to defrost and to heat them up. And you don't cook them for a long time. You cook them for almost nothing, less than like 30 seconds, just enough to heat them up, that's it. Everyone tends to overcook them. So then the soup looks brown or whenever anyone adds fresh peas to any dish, they're brown. They look disgusting. You want the peas to be bright green. This is spring veg. So remember this, when you're using peas, anything, if you're using peas, fava beans, sugar snap peas, anything like this, you don't have to cook them until they're dead. Yeah, you want the color. You want to keep them green. Like I said, I think you need a bit more juice in it. I think it's looking a lot better now. This is the end product of special fried <laughs> rice. <laughs> it looks rough. She's sweet. She's very sweet. It's not her, but it's just her dish is like this. It's not edible. Is that not the saddest thing you've seen? Look at the rice. Look at the rice. It's so right. uncooked. And then the green pea looks so soggy. This rice look like Uncle Roger future. What's she gonna do with this rice? Right, Lee's going to do the taste test. Taste test! I don't do it, mate. You don't need to taste it, huh? I wouldn't be tasting this if I were him. Don't feed this rice to human. Don't do taste test. This is child abuse. This rice you don't even feed to animal, but you feed your children. Hi, uh, child services, go arrest her. She's abusing this boy. If you feed this rice to starving person, even starving person will say, I choose to die. I don't want to eat this. Spoon out of the bowl, but I just... No, I want to eat the bowl, but whatever. Yeah. Who holds spoon like this? He holds spoon like shovel. So the mom can't cook and the son can't spoon. This family, all sorts of fucked up. Look at her, so excited to see what he think. Okay, it not good, it not good. I appreciate you have passion to start your own cooking channel. But this is not how cooking channel supposed to work. It's not supposed to bake Asian people hard. What? You can't taste the garlic. 
Hiya, of course you can't taste the garlic. The garlic so burnt, it become cold now. Yeah, well, very camp, but very... Faint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, rice a bit crunchy. The what? What he say? What he say? Um, rice a bit crunchy. I'm sure the rice is a bit crunchy, yeah? Not cooking it properly, or make it like that? The rice crunchy, of course the rice... <laughs> The rice not cooked at all. The rice just came from Paddy Field this morning and you eat the rice high. Uh, of course it's crunchy. Of course. Right, I hope I gave you a rough idea on how to do special fried rice. Like I said, I was looking forward to do it because I thought it's going to turn up the wrong way. Uh, so, yeah. <sighs> Kay, you are a sweet woman. But you terrible cook. I think BBC Food going to hire her soon. Where are you getting these recipes? The dark web? How are you feeling right now, Uncle Roger? Uncle Roger feels so violated. Gonna go make my own egg fried rice now with the Sasa Javanese fried rice seasoning packet. Need to forget about this video. Wash away the pain. Niece and nephew, don't forget, when Uncle Roger hit 3 million subscribers, I gonna make my own egg fried rice. 3 million, we almost there. Niece and nephew, smack the subscribe button now like how you smack a bag of uncooked rice that Kay about to prepare. Remember, this video is comedy. Don't attack anyone. See you next week. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, she's taking a long time chopping the garlic. I'm bored already, Jesus. I don't know what to say, yeah? That was, actually that was a little traumatic watching that video, but in any case, guys, um, if you have any suggestions, then let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to take a look at them. And if you are wanting to see some other, say, recipes or anything else, I have plenty of recipes on my YouTube channel. In any case, if you did enjoy the video, not the recipe, but the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below and share. And if you would like another great video, then I would highly suggest clicking on this video here. And I will see you guys again very soon. Take care.